Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels. I'm so happy that you have joined us today. And in this video, we are going to cover eight things that are actually hurting your SEO score on your Wix website and also how you can fix them. Uh, so if you have not already, please make sure that you have clicked on the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops here on the channel and in the series because this is part of a larger series here on the Wix Training Academy channel where we are covering the best tips and tricks to be able to boost your site's SEO, generate more leads, and obviously create more sales for your business. So without further ado, let's dive in here today. And these are on the screen, as you can see, the eight things that are hurting your SEO score on your Wix website. Now, Wix has made it super, super simple. If you have decided to create your web website on Wix, one of the best features that they have is something called the Wix SEO Wizard, which makes it very simple and very easy for you, even if you are a beginner, to be able to walk through some of the SEO things. Now, if you are going through the series here on the channel, by the end of it, so if you have not yet, we do recommend, even if this is the first video you're coming in at, we recommend that you go back and start with those first couple of videos because those are going to give you a really good blueprint for where to start on your site. So if you haven't yet, you can go ahead and after this, go watch those ones. And by the end of this series, you should know all of the things about SEO and your site on Wix should be fully optimized. So if you're going through the SEO Wiz, that is in your dashboard. So if you go to your site and you click on dashboard, you can actually go in here and pull up the SEO Wiz. Now, the first thing that is harming the your Wix website, negatively impacting it, would be if the page titles and descriptions are missing. So if you go to your Wix website and you're in the editor, what you want to do is underneath of the settings, every single one of those pages should have information underneath of it. So under the SEO basics tab, um, it should say uh, the page title and there should be a short description and then making sure that this is set. If any of this is blank or not yet filled in, that is going to negatively harm your website. The second thing that's going to hurt your uh, SEO would be if your homepage does not contain the relevant keywords. So that is something that the Wix SEO Wiz covers, but what that basically means is when Google is coming to crawl your site with their SEO bot and decide who's gonna get ranked or not, when they're looking at your homepage, you wanna make sure that you're using the relevant keywords and essentially, what you're doing is saying, this is who I am, this is what I do, and this is who I serve, right? So if you haven't yet communicated that effectively on your main page, it's going to negatively impact you. So how can you make sure that this happens? By filling out your homepage, having your name, your relevant tagline that speaks to your target audience, and honestly, good SEO comes from a really good site strategy and understanding of your core messaging and marketing. I believe in a couple of other videos, we kind of covered that in um, the other series we did, which was WTF, What the Funnel, where we showed you how to kind of tweak and optimize your site to be able to generate more leads and sales. So really it comes down to knowing your audience, knowing what they're looking for, and be able to convey that in your messaging and your marketing. If you haven't done that on your homepage, that is going to negatively impact your SEO score. Another thing is if you don't have any keywords listed in the keyword plan for your site, again, this can also be an issue because then that's basically not telling, you're not telling Google your, your site isn't matching and that's going to harm it. So 
a way around that, it's very simple, is if you go into your site settings, make sure that you have selected at least three up to five keywords. If you are a local or location-based business, you also want to make sure that you have entered in the addresses for your business or businesses so that you can be ranked and listed locally. Another thing that's going to hurt your SEO score is if your site is not optimized for mobile. This is a really big one uh, because 70% of your site visitors, up to 70, well, probably around that number, I'm not sure, haven't checked it recently, but the last estimation was roughly 70% of people are going to visit your website on mobile. Google takes that into consideration. So if your site is not mobile friendly, you're going to take a hit on your SEO ranking. So when you are editing your website, you'll notice that there is a desktop editor version of your Wix website editor. You also wanna make sure that you've gone into the mobile editor and you want to have and look at the site on mobile. How does it look? Is everything making sense? Is it, you know, does it look correct? And you want to do this for every single page of your site. Okay, so you have to go in there and check everything out, make sure the wording's clear. Um, because the thing is, is not only is Google and their little SEO bots that are crawling your site. Yes, those are going to impact that. But also if someone lands on your website and it doesn't make sense or it's confusing or your messaging isn't conveying that, they're also going to click off of your site very quickly. And so that's, a, that, that's something that they look at is the time that a user is on your site and they take that into consideration for your SEO as well because that's feedback and that's telling them, oh, okay, when someone visits this website, they're, they're staying on the site for a long period of time, which means that this site is obviously relevant to the people that are searching for this particular term. And so they're gonna keep ranking your site higher. Conversely, if people come to your site and because of maybe simple things like it's not optimized properly or have you ever been there, you know, and you go to a website and you pull it up on mobile and it just looks all jumbled, well, you're going to do something called you're going to bounce you're gonna hop off of that site really fast. That's also telling Google important information, which is, hey, this website has a really high bounce rate. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna, they're gonna shove you down further because even if you have the best keyword strategy in place, if your site isn't optimized for mobile and people are bouncing and you have a high bounce rate, they're gonna push your site further and further down. So that's something to keep into consideration. Another one would be having keywords that aren't relevant to your audience or that aren't specific enough to your target audience. What I mean by that is if I'm a website designer and for my keywords, I have just selected website design. Or if I'm a fitness coach or a personal trainer and my keyword strategy is just fitness coach, personal trainer, maybe I'm being a little bit too broad. And so my target audience isn't able to find me and I'm not really connecting with that larger audience. And so again, I am just a small fish in a big pond right? I'm not exactly relevant. I'm not really appealing to anyone. And in this case, it's much better to be one person's shot of whiskey than everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> okay. So you, you would rather connect with that one specific part of your target audience than try to appeal to everyone. Um, so there's another one, keywords not really exactly rev relevant to your audience. And in that case, you're never going to be found and you're just kind of going to be Meh. And you're never truly going to rank really high. So a video, a couple videos I would suggest from the series would be looking at the long tail keyword video. And also I would go in and watch the video where we really talk about your keyword strategy and how to pick the right keywords for your business. Uh, another one that we talked about. So number six would be your site isn't visitor friendly. Meaning when someone comes to your site, if your website is just all about you and you don't have the design of the client in mind and your site template isn't designed to capture those leads and convert them, 
what's going to happen, and, and it, maybe it's confusing, is they don't know the next actions or the next steps to take on your site. And so they kind of just can't really figure their way out. And confusion is the killer of conversion. So if your site isn't converting, it's not walking them through the journey and they leave your site, again, this is going to negatively impact your SEO score, even if this isn't exactly an SEO keyword issue. You know what I mean? So again, if you have not yet optimized your template to generate leads and sales, I would recommend going through the WTF What the Funnel series where we walk you through how to make sure your site and your template is designed for maximum lead generation and conversion. Uh, number seven would be, are the images on your website optimized? Have you gone in and for every single image on the site, have you added alt text and have you made sure that it links to the site and have you added a description? If you have not done this for the singular images or the gallery images on the site, I would make sure that you watch the video that we just put out and we show you how to make sure that all of your images are optimized so that this can help your site rank a little bit better. And one of the last things, and I kind of added this in as just an afterthought, but I was like, oh, oh my gosh, this does happen. Um, if you are not using a domain that you have purchased, this is probably going to be, this should actually be number one on the list. Um, so if you don't own your domain and you're just using a subdomain of Wix or you're using domain pointing, that's gonna hurt your SEO, okay? So <laughs> for example, um, if I go to, if I go to like, let's say I wanted to go to sarahmichaels.com, but I just was using a Wix site. So maybe I was using like wixsite.com forward slash Wix site Sarah Michaels. That's gonna hurt my domain. So when you're using your SEO strategy, you want to make sure that you have purchased a custom domain and are using that and it is connected directly to the site. So when you type in that domain, whether it's Hannah Clark, um, realestate.com. So for this example, if I was Hannah Clark real estate, I would want to make sure that when I go to Hannah Clark real estate.com, that is a domain that's connected directly to the site. And I'm not using like domain pointing or anything like that, because that is really going to hurt your SEO. So there you have it. Those are the eight the, the checklist of eight items that can harm your SEO, those are our top ones. If you have any, any more that you're like, hey, this should be added on the list or this is something we didn't think of, go ahead and let us know down below. And also, please let us know what you thought of the video. Is this helpful? Are you enjoying the series? Do you have any questions? We would absolutely love to hear from you. And if you did find this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the content here get seen and found from the channel. And again, if you haven't yet already, make sure that you go ahead, click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when a new video drops. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this video and we'll see you for the next one here in the SEO series. Have an awesome rest of your day.